Hey guys, Maker CK here, and today I wanted to show you how to make some really simple motors uh, that are a lot of fun to make. Uh, all you need is a, a few supplies. You need a double A battery, which I have here. For this, I'm going to make a few different ones, but uh, the first one here, you need a double A battery, a screw, put those there, a piece of wire copper wire I have, and a neodymium magnet, just one for this one. And what you're going to do is, on this first one, you're going to take the magnet and put it, stick it to the bottom of the screw there. And I tried this with a few different sizes of screws, and um, about one inch worked the best for me. So you kind of try to line it up in the center. Then, you're gonna, it doesn't really matter which side that you stick it to, but it works better if you can... I found that it worked better if you stick it to the side with the little nipple on it. Okay, then you attach the wire here. And the, if you can hold it really steady, you can get it going pretty fast. That one wasn't too bad. Okay, that's one you can do. Let me show you this other one. You just take your uh, AA battery here, and I'm putting two magnets on the bottom this time. I'll just set that in the middle. These motors are called homopolar motors. And you just put it over the top. That gets moving pretty fast. I was surprised. Oop. And I made a few different one of these. This wire actually gets pretty hot. And you can feel it gets pretty hot. Also made a heart. I was making a few different ones because I wanted to see which one would move the fastest. I wonder if this is starting to run out of, the battery's running out of juice maybe. So one of the things that I found would happen a lot when I was first uh, messing around with these is that it falls off the middle and then it and then it doesn't work as well. So what you can do is you can punch a little hole and well you don't want to punch a hole but you can put a little indention in the top in the top there and it'll help it to stay so it so it doesn't fall off. You just do it real lightly. This is um, you don't have to hit it hard. Just a real light tap. That should be good enough. Let's, oh, let's try it. What do I do with my batteries? 
I mean my magnets. Let's put this triangle one on. Ooh. There you go. See, it stays stays in the middle a little bit better if you put that indention in there. The other interesting thing is that you see right now that is spinning clockwise. But if we take the magnets off and flip them around, now it'll spin counterclockwise. Touching. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. There's one. There's the triangle. Okay. Let's try the other one here. Anyway, that's basically it, but um, I found it was a lot of fun uh, making them and then experimenting with the different shapes to see which ones would spin better. And it's also interesting that when you flip the magnets around it, it turns the other way. Okay, that's it for now. Have fun experimenting on your own with these motors. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe and like the video. Okay, so let's put a little indention in a battery here. too hard.